all of you have liked the video uh, for the important topics of the medicine which I had uploaded few days back. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in the same pattern, I'm going to discuss the uh, same uh, important topics for the surgery, which will be helpful for your preparation uh, for the UPSC Simmons exam. So same in this video, we're going to discuss the four important topics you, which you must read uh, while starting your preparation, preparation or while you're going for the exams and four most important chapter which you have to finish first when you are starting preparing surgery and the some topics of the different different chapters which you must read before going for the exams to so hope uh, all those things are going to help you during preparation so myself dr sagar pushp and uh, i welcome you all on my channel doctor's desk so let's start the video now So now we'll discuss those I have told you in uh, intro part. Uh, so I have uploaded video for the medicine. I'm gonna I'm gonna share the link in the description so you can go and watch the important topics of the medicine also. So now we'll firstly discuss the four most important must know topics. You first read the, these topics thoroughly and also revise before going for the exams. So let's start with the first topic now. That is the carcinoma part. This is the most important topic I'm telling you and these are the five important uh, areas which you have to read only mainly the carcinoma but like thyroid carcinoma that you know that papillary follicular and medullary carcinoma. Next the breast, breast carcinoma and the um, modified radical mastectomy you have to read it thoroughly and their complications like lymphedema and all. Salivary gland tumor you have to you must have to read and then esophagus stomach and colon you all all, all of you know that these three are the most important and the complications of the surgery for the stomach and esophageal carcinoma you must read i'm telling you the, from these five topics definitely the questions will come i'm i'm 100% sure that these five topics will minimum get eight to nine questions so hope you're gonna do the questions after finishing these topics. So uh, just I told you salivary and esophageal stomach and colon and the lung. I forgot to tell you lung carcinoma they are asking in medicine also in the surgery also to read this thoroughly all the classification of lung carcinoma and management of lung carcinoma. So next this is the most important topic all of you know in every exam like NEET PG, INSCT and now the UPSC CMS they are mainly focused on the trauma and these are the three areas where they are focusing in the UPSC CMS exam. First is the chest trauma like pneumothorax and types of the pneumothorax and how you are going to manage. Liver and spleen, the grading of the uh, liver and spleen trauma and how you are going to manage if the patient is hemodynamically stable or hemodynamically unstable. All these things, the steps you must read and the head that is the intracellular hemorrhage, like subarachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hemorrhage, extradural hemorrhage, all you have to read. I am just telling the topics which you must read. And the finally the management part of the trauma like the basic of the trauma like like the triage and all so hope well, you want to read these topics and taking it seriously same management and liver spleen so now we'll move to the next that is the acute conditions in the surgery part i'm telling you that first the most important topic the acute pancreatitis from this topic they are asking more than 10 to 15 questions in the both medicine also i told you about the acute pancreatitis in the surgery i'm telling you you have to read every details of the acute pancreatitis starting from the risk factor to the management part. Now the acute appendicitis you must read. They are going to ask the clinical questions and you have to diagnose or for the management of the acute appendicitis. Acute cholecystitis you must read and all the criteria and how you are going to manage for the mild, moderate and severe you must read. And obstruction and strangulation perforation of the it may be from the intestinal or the hernia part. Uh, a lobe, uh, site obstruction, strangulation and perforation of the bowel. To you all these things you must read. I am telling you from these topics question will definitely come. Now uh, uh, this is the fourth topic. I am telling you every year they are giving five to six questions from the hernia like complications of hernia like obstruction, strangulation, types of hernia, how uh, different types of repairs like solis repairs, vesonis repairs. Uh, like like instant repairs, modified like instant repairs. All these repairs you have to you must have to read, and then I am telling at the end that everything you have to read for the hernia part. You can see they have written on everything, so you have to read every details of the hernia. I am telling you, definitely five to six question gonna come from this topic. So now 
will read most important chapters i'll tell you the most important chapters in the surgery you must read the first is the git git the most important part in the surgery you have to read thoroughly in the git part general surgery is the second most important chapter of the surgery thyroid already have told you about you have to read thoroughly about the thyroid studying of the carcinoma from uh, the thyroiditis and all and the pancreas i told i already told you starting from its uh, embryological defects from the acute conditions to the carcinoma so these four chapters you must have to finish first if you're starting your surgery firstly finish this these four step chapters then move to the next uh, other chapters for the prepare, preparation of upsc cms exams so now we'll start with the general surgery what, what all topics you must have to revise before going for the exam you have to read the general surgery thoroughly but before going for the exams and while preparing for the exam you must focus on these topics and revise them again and again for the types of wounds you must read every alternative they are asking the same questions from the types of wounds wounds wound healing like <coughs> they are asking again uh, again and again uh, regarding the steps of wound drilling and all pressure source uh, grading of the pressure source most common site of the pressure source they are asking again and again and iv fluids they want to definitely ask the crystalloids and colloids related to the clinical question they will attach with the trauma part and they want to ask about the what all fluids you can give through this piece and this patient depend on depend on the clinical scenario next management of the shock this is the most important all, all of you know that this is a favorite topic of the upsc cms they want to ask one question definitely one or two question from the shock and the pre operative management is another favorite topic i am telling you those topics which i am telling you they all are the favorite topics for the upsc cms you must read while preparing the general surgery part compartment syndrome as i told you and the sirs next other important topics of the general surgery i'm telling you the first is the intermittent claudication like rest pain peripheral vascular disease you must have to read all the management of the uh, management part of the peripheral vascular diseases very cause variants classifications <coughs> you must read uh, from your textbook or your whatever uh, notes you have the difference be different between wet and dry gang dry gangrene and the duplex skin i'm told you like uh, the all the investigation part of the peripheral vascular diseases and the, all the complications and what is massive blood transfusion you must read now the thyroid chapter i'm going to tell you the some important topics first is the thyroid crisis you must read this is the acute condition i already told all the acute conditions you must read next is the thyroid carcinoma i already told you next is the thyroiditis types of thyroiditis you have to read so these are the three important topics you must read from the thyroid chapter now last the other some important topics you must must read while preparing for the surgery and tick mark in your notebook that uh, while going you for the exam just two or three days before you can revise these topics like retroperitoneal fibrosis and i have told you everything about the pancreas Com complications of mrm and pancreas they are asking the annular pancreas ectopic pancreas carcinoma of pancreas acute pancreatitis and the management of the acute pancreatitis like apache score ct severity score or they are all of these they are asking cystic fibrosis different types of syndromes they are asking different scores in the surgery they are asking and different triangles in the surgery are asking that these syndromes scores and triangles definitely one one question from each of these will definitely come to you so i want to give give you some examples of the different types of syndromes what all scores they had asked and what all triangles they had already asked like in the first the syndrome if we'll see felty syndrome valentino syndrome familiar adeno sis polyposis syndrome so all these are they, they are asking again and again and the score part if you'll see the milt score q sofa score child turgot pug score apache 2 and the triangles if you'll see the kellot triangle pain triangle of pain triangle of doom and more triangle more uh, syndromes scores and triangles related to the surgery part you, you must have to read this separately if you make a chart of these syndromes all together and all the score together and all the triangles together it will going to help you the same thing asking in other exams also like neat pg ins cet also so all this thing going to help you while extra edge these things will give you extra edge if you uh, give the answer of these questions to so hope all of you have got what i have told you 
the four most important topics in surgery you must read four most important chapters you first have to read those chapters then move to the other chapters and the different different topics of the different chapters you must read before going for the examinations so hope all of you going to like this video kindly share subscribe and follow my channel and if you have any problem you can directly message me on my insta page telegram page or you can answer in the ask in the comment section also the so next video we're going to discuss the obg part uh, pediatric part after the obg part we're going to discuss the pediatric part also then the psm part so hope uh, all of you have liked this video so and uh, if you want to see the important topics of the medicine i'm going to share the link in the description so it will uh, going to help you so same thing i'm repeating again always try to help others it will come back to you in other forms definitely i have seen i have felt that you also get so thank you and thanks for watching